Well, hey guys, we're out on Lake Winnebago today doing a little bit of slip bobbering and we put some nice eaters in the boat. Stay tuned, we're gonna be hooked up shortly. That's a huge fish. That's a big one. Look at this, just a full Christmas tree. Had a mark come up on the screen and just smoked the number three clown rat. That is exactly what we came for, guys. I mean, that is just something right there. I was fishing. Yeah. Not the. Yeah, not the biggies, right? Have a good one. Are you videoing? Yeah. Smile. Yeah. Right. Well, you guys, we're out on uh, Lake Winnebago right now, and. Well, we're working a you know, rocky point here, and I've got three slip bobbers ready to go. We're gonna try some leeches, some jigs, uh, some crawlers on both, and do some slip bobbers here, and uh, see what we can come up with. If uh, you know, we're not able to uh, put some fish in the boat, we're gonna move off and uh, jump in, I guess, to a few different spots and try a different, you know, couple tactics. You know, yesterday I was on Butamore, got some nice eaters out there, but I'm looking for something of bigger size. So we're gonna give this a shot first, seeing it's right next to the launch, uh, and uh, see what we can come up with. Bobber down. This feels like a better fish here. We got another one on the other fish. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna need the net for this one. Oh! Oh boy. Something tells me this is gonna be a nice eye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, don't come unbutton like the last one now. About a 15 and a half, can't complain on that one. It's all about having confidence in the spot. And that is a nice eater right there. Oh yeah. Probably gonna need a net for this one. Oh yeah. These bobbers are just going nuts right now. I mean, I can't even keep an eye on them. I'm missing half of them because I'm using such tiny, tiny little jigs here. 30 second ounce jigs. Get the pliers on that. I think we got another bobber down. We do, oh my.
This is gonna be a goat, I think, though. Yeah. Like I said, the bobbers are just going nuts right now. Crawlers, leeches, a little bit of everything here. This is just so much fun. Now it's time to get that one in a live well. One thing I want to focus on is today I have both crawlers and leeches and anytime I come out with a focus on any type of live bait presentation or much less any other time, you know, if other tactics aren't working, I always have crawlers and leeches in the boat with me. I keep them in my little frayable container here that's made for minnows, uh, but I love this for, you know, having both crawlers and leeches in there. Throw some ice in there and uh, you're good to go for the day. Um, well, we just had a bite on this one yet again here. Might have to, uh, it looks like he dropped it. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what we got. And the bite has been about 50-50 crawlers and leeches. This might be a goat. I think so. The crawler uh, bite has mainly resulted in sheephead uh, and two eyes. However, those two eyes have been some quality eyes. And, oh, that's a big one right there. However, having both crawlers and leeches in here, you know, I'm still getting, you know, the walleye bite on the leeches, but I'm also cutting down these guys here. And uh, unless you're uh, one of the folks that eat these, which I surely am not, uh, we don't want these in the boat. Nice fish. Another nice eater here. Another quality fish here, Lake Winnebago, baby. Put in the time, here's your reward. You know, pretty much everything that we're doing today, uh, I talked about my last article in Badger Sportsman, and that was slipping into summer. You know, and obviously in that article then, we're doing some slip bobbering and we're doing some jigging because those two things go hand in hand. Now today, I really haven't needed uh, to even pull out the jig rod because we've had some crazy slip bobber action going on. Uh, now that article is about a month old and uh, you know, current subscribers to Badger Sportsman get that uh, article and all the other articles obviously, uh, you know, right when it first comes out. But seeing it's uh, you know over a month here, you can jump onto my website at obioutdoors.com and you can check that article out for free. Um, you know if you want to get this stuff up to date, uh, you know, and get it right when that uh, issue comes out, you know, jump onto Badger Sportsman's website at badgersportsman.com and uh, you can pick up a subscription there, and uh, well, you'll get all this awesome info right when it comes out. It's nice and easy till you feel it. Another nice eye. Oh yeah. Oh baby. There we go. That's about a 14, but it swallowed it, so we're gonna have to keep this one. Well, guys, it was an awesome day on the water here. You know, I mean, what's easier than watching bobbers drop? And uh, we put some nice uh, fish in the boat today, a couple respectable ones, and got some nice eaters too. And well, we limited down on the, uh, I guess, the uh, rough fish, the goats and whatnot, but uh, you know, had a few of them as well. Almost lost my pole on one of them, and uh, well, I guess uh, it's a good thing. I didn't do that. That would have been one expensive uh, goat. So uh, if you guys like what you saw, please click that subscribe button it's on top of your page here. You get notified anytime I upload any one of these videos or product highlights or anything like that. Uh, if you're not, oh, that's gotta be a goat. If you're not viewing me from a YouTube player, 
or a catfish. This is not a goat. This is a big fish, whatever this is. It's gotta be a catfish. It's gotta be a catfish. Oh my God. I have no idea what this is. This is a big fish. If this is an eye, oh my God. Well, she wants to go in the back, so we're gonna go in the back. Oh! Hopefully that wasn't a big eye. It broke me off, clean right off too. Something tells me looking at that, that that might have been a pike. So I guess that's uh, where we're gonna have to leave it at that though. So hopefully you guys like what you saw. Click that subscribe button, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash obioutdoors or search obioutdoors on that. And uh, you'll find uh, my page on there and you can stay up to date on that. Uh, we're gonna say that was a 10 pound eye, okay? Just because it's the big one that got away. So I guess uh, all good things must come to an end and this is the end. So until next time, tight lines, stay dry.